welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to show you a trick with which you will be able to find square root of any decimal number in matter of seconds okay especially if it is a proper square okay if it is not then you will be required to do some steps with which you will be able to get almost the same answer okay so here what you do is see now please understand here we have a square root the first job what you should be doing is you write this in form of a fraction so we can write this as nothing but 121 upon 100 now let's take individual square root so we have 121 under a root and we have 100 under a root so now we know that 121 is nothing but what 11 square root of 121 is 11 and square root of 100 is 10 so your final answer is just 1.1 okay now what happens when the square root which you are supposed to find is not a, not a perfect square so first thing what you should do is see let's you will do the same method this will be written as 6 upon 10 please understand we'll make this 100 okay because square root of 100 we know is very very easy and dividing any number by 10 is much easy okay last way we will divide by 10 correct so here i will multiply by 10 and here i'll also multiply by 10 okay so this is basically now 60 upon square root of 100 okay so now we know we just have to find root of 60 upon 10 correct now what you do for root of 60 okay so let's just look at root of 60 so first thing what you should do is you should divide 60 by the nearest number whose square you have so basically i can say that <coughs> 60 can be divided by 8 because 8 square is 64 and it is the closest to the number of 60 correct <coughs> sorry so when you do the division you're left you're getting what sevens are so 56 so you're left with 4 we put a point and we have 7.5 okay now what you should do is whatever number you're dividing with you add that number to the quotient what you've got so 8 plus 7.5 gets you how much 15.5 and this number you will divide by 2 okay so what answer you will get over here is 7.75 correct so this is your answer for square root of 60 but you need what so basically I can write this is nothing but 7.75 upon 10 so my final answer will be what 0 0.775 if you have any doubts then I will show this with the help of Kelsey okay so here I am multiplying root 0.775 into 0.775 so your answer is 0 0.600 correct so it's pretty much the same answer okay so I hope you are liking the way I'm explaining and in case if that's the case then please please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also if you have not subscribed to my channel then please go ahead and hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever I push up these videos with these amazing tricks. So very quickly, let's just revise this. What happens over here is whenever you get a decimal, you try to convert this in the form of 100 as the denominator. Okay. So your numerator get, gets manipulated in the form of 100. Okay. And then you simply try to find the square root of your numerator. Okay. So in that case, what you do is you divide the number by the nearest number square whatever quotient you get you add that number to the quotient then you divide the final answer by 2 okay so this is your answer for the square root of the number in your numerator okay and then simply divide this by 10 to get your final answer okay let's very quickly see how this works for one more uh, number so now see look over here this can be written as 17 upon 100 so basically i just need to find square root of 17 upon 10 let me do this these workings over here okay so square root of 17 
I know that 17 is very close to 16 so I will divide and square root of 16 is what 4 I will divide 17 by 4 I am getting 4.25 okay and I am going to add this over here so I am getting 8.25 divided by 2 so I am getting 4.25 one two five but that is not the answer which i am looking at i need to divide this by 10 to get my the final answer so answer is 0 0.4125 okay so i hope you are getting the hang of these kind of sums students don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section okay using the trick shown in the video this is a practice which is happening in almost all of my videos because once you look at the trick normally you'll forget it so if you use that trick immediately that is something which will stay with you for a longer period but like i said for any trick to settle in to settle in your head you need to practice it with at least 10 to 20 subs so now very quickly this can be written as 12 upon 10 so this will get multiplied by 10 and 10 to make it a hundred in the denominator. So I having I'm having 120 upon 10. Sorry, the square root is not over here. So now square root of 120. What you do is you will divide 120 by 11. So 10s are and then I'm left with 100. So uh, nines are then let's make it a zero okay so now this will get added to 11 so my final answer will be 21 point no it's not my final answer i will still divide by 2 so i'll get 10.95 okay and this is still not my final answer because i will divide this by 10 again okay <clears throat> so when i divide this by 10 my final answer is 1.095 okay i hope you all are getting the hang of it very quickly just simply revise this always always convert the number in the form of a fraction and make sure that the denominator is in the form of 100 if it is not then you multiply and make it a 100 okay because removing square roots of your denominator that will be just 10 so final answer you just have to divide by 10 and then this is the practice which you will follow if it is an imperfect square okay so if it is an imperfect square we will just you know divide it by the closest number whatever answer you get you will add with the closest number square and then this answer will get divided by 2 and to get the final answer you will divide this final answer by 10 okay so i hope you are getting the hang of it coming to your diy I want you to tell me square root of 0 0.5. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.